All right, in this video, I'm going to add a neck. So the neck is going to come off the top of the spine, and this is going to be a spline as well. I could add an FK chain instead for the um, neck, but I generally prefer to use a spline just because it has the stretchy features and a bit more going on. So in here, I'm going to choose neck, and I don't have it as a default, so I'll type that in. And I'm going to just give it two joints for the neck. I don't need five. That's a bit excessive for this character. And I will choose uh, no mirror, so I'll just create. And there we go. I'll scale this down and start placing these. So the first joint I'll put kind of at the base of the neck. This one can go kind of about here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to undo that. I'm going to do three. Let's do three. So I send it and I'll create it again. There we go. Do three joints. So yeah, one in the base, one in the middle, and one for the base of the skull. So this one can sort of sit here. And I've got this one a bit into place. So yeah, for uh, rapid rig, the top of the neck will be kind of the head joint there. And then this one will sit kind of in the middle. And now we have our neck. So let's go ahead and add our head in the same video because that's nothing too new. So we'll go to the head here. And we have a ton of settings here for the head now in Rapid Rig Modular version three. So we can add eyes, cheeks, nose, nostrils, lips, all this stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a head. So I'll choose head. And I'll just turn on all the settings just so we can kind of see everything that we get. And we don't mirror, we don't want two heads, so we, I'll leave this not mirrored and I'll go create head. So this is pretty dense, there's a lot going on in the face. Um, I'm, again, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but a few things to keep in mind. When you're placing your um, eyes, it's going to kind of move everything. So I recommend getting the eyes into place. And what you want to do is get that right in line with actual IGO. If you have eyes that are not round, like perfectly spherical, you'll probably run into issues. I'm just going to snap this into place here. There, go to my side view and snap. There. Oh, missed wrong edge loop. There. And then so now I'm going to go ahead and scale this up to fit. Kind of like that. And the reason why I'm doing that is for the uh, eyelids. So the eyelids, uh, to move these into place, you want to rotate these. And then if you need to push them out a little bit, you can scale them. But we don't want to translate them because that's got to pivot from the eye. Okay, so I can go in and get these into place. Again, you can change the number of eyelid joints you want. in a place here's the corner the eyelid inner bring that into the corner there and we can do the same thing so here's the yeah the outer so that should go kind of there just kind of quickly just evenly space these out and then you could do the same thing for the bottom eyelids. I won't do that just to save time. Uh, for the eyebrows, same idea. Go in and kind of place these roughly where they should go. They're going to go there, there. Just ballparking these into place. And one thing that's important too with these is as you're placing them, that got pulled down back there, um, is you want to angle them. So have Z point outward from the mesh. So here, there's my Z pointing outward.
something like that. And you would do the same process for the lips. So you get the lip corner in place and um, we'll actually get the jaw in place first, probably the best thing to do. So let's find the jaw, there's the jaw. You go in and bring that kind of where you want that to sit. And then now you can go in and place these things. So I added a top tooth and bottom tooth, so you could add those if you ever need to shift the teeth around. <clears throat> and then there's a tongue that you can place. Assuming you chose that. So you go in and get that into the location you want, similar to an FK chain. And then uh, same idea with the brow and the eyes, just get all this stuff into the correct location. Oh, and there is this um, mouth joint. So this allows you to shift the whole mouth around, especially useful for a cartoony rig. So we'll go ahead and pull that there. And then yeah, same idea. Go in and grab your corners, position those, rotate them, get it into place, get your top and bottom corners into place. And so on and so forth till you have everything where you want it to sit. And then you have the cheeks, so you can create more than one cheek. I'll just have one here, so I'm gonna push that kind of in the mass. Somewhere like there. Um, we have um, more things like lower orbitals, which I didn't add, but you could go in and add extra joints there for squinting or kind of pushing the shape there where your cheekbone is. Um, we have the center. Uh, this is the nose bridge. Go ahead and move that if I needed to kind of ever adjust the bridge of the nose a little bit. Then we have our actual nose. So this can translate and rotate and scale. So I generally recommend putting that more at the base and then putting the nostrils, you know, sort of where they would flare out from. So maybe something like that. And then, uh, yeah, that's kind of the setup there. So in the next video, we will go on to uh, the lookouts and then continue from there.